The Okta research team suggests an extension of the MECQ even after the SARS-CoV-2 reproduction number has decreased in NCR. Meanwhile, San Juan shares plans on preventing the surge of cases in their city. To give us more details, we have Jen Kalimon live. Jen, what do you have for us? Yes, Charles, despite the improving situation in Metro Manila in terms of the number of daily cases, the Okta Research is suggesting to extend the implementation of MECQ in the Metro until the reproduction number improves. Meanwhile, San Juan LGU is showing significant improvements, but hospital beds in the city are still in full capacity. According to Okta Research member Dr. Guido David, there's a significant decrease in cases this month. As the reproduction number went down to 0.98 for April 16 to 22 from the recorded 1.17 last April 9 to 15, San Juan City also shows significant decrease in new average daily cases, logging a decrease of 45%. In the early half, in the early half of April, the number of new cases in the city reached 173, but it went down to 98 for April 16 to 22. The city's reproduction number has also improved, with the city recording 1.08 from 2.41 a few weeks ago. The positivity rate in the Cardinal Santos Hospital, the lone testing laboratory hospital in San Juan, is also decreasing. From 28% last week, it is now down to 22% for the last seven days. This means that they are getting less positive results in Cardinal Santos Hospital. But uh, the testing capacity is also still stable at uh, 220 per day. But the bed occupancy in San Juan is still almost full. The city's hospital bed occupancy is at 66%, while the ICU occupancy is full at 100%. Father Nick Ostriaco says the reason for hospital congestion is not the bed limitations, but the shortage or shortage in the number of nurses. Currently, only 16,000 nurses are deployed by the health department to attend to over 9,700 COVID beds. To achieve full capacity care, the Okta Research is recommending to hire 1,000 more nurses and staff twice the number of COVID beds designated as standard of care. They also recommend to intensify and expand testing, tracing, and isolation to reverse the, in the increase of transmission. Okta also urges the government to accelerate its efforts in building isolation and quarantine facilities, as well as to continue tightening borders, building capacity for biosurveillance at the regional level, and accelerate the, pro the, procur the procurement of vaccines. Lastly, Okta Research is calling on the government to extend the implementation of MECQ until at least the reproduction number is less than one. Meanwhile, according to San Juan Mayor Francis Zamora, the LGU has passed 120 COVID-related ordinances and resolutions, distributed 16 waves of food packs, and hired 117 contact tracers. He said there will be a unified contact tracing application, which will start very soon. The city's isolation facility includes the Kalinga Center, which has a capacity of 139 and San Juan National High School, which has a capacity of 36. The city is also eyeing to open two more facilities soon. San Juan has also purchased 100,000 AstraZeneca jobs, which are expected to arrive in June. Charles Mayor Zamora says all first doses of vaccines from the national government have been consumed and at least 10,000 San Juanenos, including medical frontliners and A2 and A3 groups have been vaccinated. Right now, over 56,000 56, San Juan residents or almost 65% of the population have registered in their vaccination program. Charles? Thanks for those updates, Jen. That was Jen Kalimut.